Hello, Terracon4 here, and give away a quick little tutorial for anyone who wants to know how to add a bone in Blender. In particular, this is meant to be for the farming and mining animation pack. So first, you probably want to take whatever character you have that is on the UE4 compliant skeleton, but does not itself have the tool bone, but you want it on that with. Or a similar enough one that you could otherwise potentially retarget to, but you'd still need the tool bone on it to retarget. So normally you just find your mesh in engine, if needed, asset, export, and then desktop or whatever. I usually like to name things with an underscore export to identify it differently. I've already done that here. So here we will now go to Blender. When you open Blender, you'd want to go to New, General, and it creates this. Go up here to the right collection, camera, cube, light, all that stuff, just delete it. Um, it is in the way for this. So import FBX. Go to desktop, then let's grab your mesh and import. Now, middle mouse button lets you look around. Middle mouse button shift lets you pan. And middle mouse button could left control. Does right control do that too? Nope. Left control. Okay, yeah, both controls do. Either way, middle mouse button control lets you zoom or scroll wheel or whatever. So with this, we can see this. By default, you'd be here in layout. You're going to want to go over here to modeling and make sure you're in the edit mode. This will make this nice and easier. With this, we'll see these bones. Yeah, the visual representation is a bit wacky if you don't know what they are, but up here in the upper right, I'd probably expand this area so that you can more easily read bones. You're going to want to go to, there's the base, uh, kind of like a grouping thing. The root, root, this is the mesh itself. It's worth saying, Unreal Engine will export this here thing. It's basically got the name of whatever your file is, and it's the root item under everything else. It's okay in other software, but if you uh, export that back in, then it'll break in Unreal. So we'll just delete that. Given my unit setup of centimeters to meters and what my units are in Blender, which are the default, at least from when I first got this, the result is my guess now 100. He's using meters instead of centimeters. So when we export, I'll just set that to 0 .0, uh, 0.01 so that he will be the proper size. But with this, he'd be okay to export right now, and he'd work fine in Unreal. But we want to add a bone. So for that, we'd expand pelvis, spine, 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 and clavicle R, upper arm R, lower arm R, hand R. So we want the hand. Select the hand. Now, extrude, and just make this like just barely poke down under the hand section there. With this, we have a new hand bone. It's called hand R, but dot zero zero one. We don't want that. We want tool underscore R underscore hand. There's also a tool effect, but that's pretty much added in the same way. We only are going to bother with the basic tool itself right now. And with this, we have the hand bone. For the record, extrude is this green one down here. If you ever want to select stuff, press the W key or click this select thing up here to go up and potentially select bones. The reason I went through here is because if you try and select normally, as you can see up here where you've selected IK, because there's the IK hand, IK gun, and hand R bone on that exact same location. So to select the hand definitively, it's easy to just go through this list to find it and then use the select method. All right, so with this, We've got our character. We got rid of that little piece that uh, Unreal Engine will export with assets. And we've got the extra bone on here. So now we just go to Export, FBX. And here we, uh, let's see, desktop, Scale. Again, we got rid of that uh, basic piece. So our guy's now using meters instead of centimeters. And again, you can mess with the scale units and stuff inside Blender, but the easiest way 
for right out of the file. Uh, default installation is just 0 0.01, so 1 100th scale, and with this we can SD, Anakin, Farmer, whatever, and export, and bada bing bada boom. Then you'd import that into Unreal Engine. Here, for example, you've got the farming section. I'll go to farming and mining and just drop it here. So import desktop. Here's our testy mannequin farmer. And mannequin. So that's the one in the farming and mining pack. So that's the right skeleton and import. And we could have modified the scale there for import scale, but we did that in the, uh, Blender, so we don't have to worry about that here. So with this, we got our mesh. And he now went from a default mannequin to a mannequin with the bone on it. Uh, use animation assets, and with this, X-Wing. He can be posed for that. Still, that would happen regardless of whether or not you had the hand bone. In order to actually see if he properly has the hand bone, we'll go to this thing. And set, just drag this in. There we go. And now we can see that mesh that we exported has the hand bone to use the tool. Ta-da! So as you can see, it's pretty easy. For the most part, bring something in, delete the base piece so that you're just left with this root. Then go here, down the armature, until you find hand R. Then make sure you've got that selected. Go to this extrude thingy click and drag this thing in order to just make a new bone, then find that bone over here, and rename it appropriately, in this case tool underscore R hand, and then export to FBX, and set the scale to this. Otherwise you could set again import scale to that amount, but yeah, that's all you need to do. So with this, if you've got your own characters in Unreal Engine that you want to have the tool bone on their hand so that they can properly use the tool, that's all you have to do. It, they'll probably take you five or ten minutes to figure it out the first time you're in Blender, but after that you can do it in like a minute or two per character if needed. And yeah, hope that helps. Till next time.